Welcome back to Xbox Corner, my name's Luke, and it's the start of a new month, so that can mean only one thing, new Game Pass titles to announce, including two new Day 1 releases. Now if you missed our leaving Game Pass video, I've linked it down in the description, so be sure to check that one out to see what's going to be leaving the service come the 15th of April. For now though, hit that like button to give the algorithm a good kick, subscribe for more deals, reviews, Game Pass roundups and graphical comparisons, and let's get into it. So first up a couple of announcements, the first being that the Dungeons of Nahlbeck, which released last month on consoles, is now available on PC Game Pass. Now if you missed this one, it's a turn-based tactical adventure game in which you lead a band of heroic misfits through dungeons to take down a big evil baddie and it has all of your usual RPG features like quests, weapons, skills and abilities and plenty of loot. It's based on an audio comedy series which parodies role-playing games and heroic fantasy tropes, so you can also expect plenty of wacky humour with this one. Now our second announcement is for a few new titles coming to EA Play's cloud service, including a couple of Xbox classics. The first of these is Dragon Age 2, an action role-playing game from Bioware and direct sequel to Dragon Age Origins. Now I quite enjoyed these games back in the day, they had some interesting combat mechanics and a fairly enjoyable storyline, and as you might expect, again you'll be completing quests in this one, levelling up, gaining new skills and abilities, and building and controlling a party to save the day with. Now the second cloud title is Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare, the classic third person shooter come tower defence hybrid in which players take control of plants or zombies and have to attack or defend a garden in various game modes and this one's a fair few years old now but it's still plenty of fun. The final EA Play Cloud title is Star Wars Squadrons, a space combat game set after the return of the Jedi, whose campaign mode sees you playing as both the New Republic and the Galactic Empire. This one though takes your classic X-Wing vs TIE Fighter formula and elevates it, giving each faction four specialist ships to control which can be upgraded in various ways, and in addition to the story mode, the game also supports online dogfights for up to 10 players, though I'm not entirely sure how active its online community still is. So on to our first proper title then, and the first of two Day 1 releases this week, we have MLB The Show 22, which is essentially the FIFA or Madden of the baseball scene, but thankfully is not an EA title, so you don't need EA Play to enjoy it. Now the game sees a return of its previous game modes, which now include two new difficulty settings for absolute noobs like me, and also cross-platform play and progression with both the PlayStation and Switch versions, though of course you'll need to own a copy of the game on these platforms as well. The game's Diamond Dynasty returns, which is presumably this game's version of Ultimate Teams, and just like Ultimate Teams you'll be building a fantasy team by collecting cards purchased using stubs, which as you've probably guessed means plenty of in-app purchases, and no doubt legions of whales to face online, but if baseball's your bag then this is the game for you. If baseball's not your bag, then maybe cricket is, and if so, you'll be no doubt overjoyed to find out that Cricket 22 is now also available on Game Pass. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm not a cricket fan at all, and I think the last time I actually played a cricket game was back on the PlayStation 1, but things have come a long way since Brian Lara 99, and in Cricket 22 you can experience the thrill of a fully licensed Ashes contest, as well as Australia's T20 and England's The 100, along with many other world famous cricket competitions which I know absolutely nothing about. There's also a deep narrative driven career mode for you to play through and all new bowling and fielding controls, so plenty for cricket fans to enjoy and get excited about. Now if you prefer your point and click adventure titles, then our next game, Chinatown Detective Agency, is definitely one that you're going to want to check out. Sporting some stunning pixel art which features plenty of sexy neon signage, this day one release really slips you into the shoes of P.I. Amira Dama, an ex-cop who just opened her own detective agency, and the game's cyber noir setting sees you travelling across a near future Earth, whose global economy has literally gone to shit. 
Now the gameplay in this one sees you trying to solve a series of cases which slowly start to unravel a global conspiracy and the game features over a hundred different locations for you to visit as well as fully voiced characters. What's really interesting about this one though is that some of the in-game mysteries actually require the player to do a spot of real life detective work, so get that google at the ready everybody. Your time and money in the game are also in limited supply, with your every decision having an impact on how the game plays out, so just make sure to spend them wisely. So Life is Strange True Colours is our next new edition, and this one released last year and is the fifth instalment in the Life is Strange game series. Now following suit with the previous titles, this one's a graphical adventure game whose plotline focuses around Alex Chen, a young woman with psychic powers which enable her to experience the emotions of others, and following her brother's suspicious death, Alex must then use her powers to uncover the truth. Now if you've played the other games in this series, you'll know that this one's definitely one for those looking for a story to sink into, as it's heavily narrative driven. But it also puts an interesting new spin on things, as Alex is able to observe the auras surrounding the people she speaks to, reading and manipulating them to either help the people or get information out of them. Though the side effects of using her abilities also causes her to feel the same emotions, with intense auras actually transforming the world around her. It's another decent addition to Game Pass this one though, especially if you like your story games. Our penultimate game today then is the PC only title, Panzer Corps 2, and this is a deeply strategic war game set amongst the battlefields of World War 2, featuring a turn based combat system where your every decision could lead to victory or defeat. Now I feel like this one is catering for a very particular audience, as its gameplay mechanics are incredibly deep, very much like an actual tabletop war game. And Panzer Corps 2 allows you to play as every major power active during the Second World War, constructing your army from over a thousand different units. Now the game's campaign mode sees you leading the German army through World War 2, but there are also a ton of other scenarios for you to play through, including plenty of multiplayer ones, and if you're into your war games, this is definitely the one to play. So our last game today, and possibly one of the biggest new additions to EA Play this week, is the action adventure title Lost in Random, a game whose narrative drops you into a dark fantasy world where every citizen's future is determined by the roll of a dice. You play as a girl called Even, who after being separated from her sister, again at the roll of a dice, is determined to put a stop to the wicked queen and controller of the one true dice and save her sister from a miserable fate. Now travelling alongside a small living dice known as Dice, Even must venture through the six twisted realms of random, each with its own unique rule sets, battling against the queen's hostile forces, and the game's combat system features an interesting blend of card collection, skill and luck, as each card and roll of Dice changes up the battles and the boards that you fight on. The gameplay and mechanics in Lost in Random look to be a uniquely awesome concept though, the world and its realms look fantastically dark, as does the storyline, and this is definitely one to look out for when it hits Game Pass on the 14th of April. And so that just about does it for this week's roundup, a bit of a mixed bag, but did anything tickle your fancy? Perhaps you're up for a bit of bat and ball sports? Or maybe you're a wargaming fanatic who's stoked to play Panzer Corps 2? Let us know down in the comments section below. As always, we'll be back soon with more Game Pass goodness, but until then, hit that like button if you enjoyed this one, subscribe for weekly deals, reviews, Game Pass roundups and more, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks everyone, take care.